Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every expansion, 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 expansion in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is a man who came straight out of the trash bin, Willie Hughes. That's me, Gary. I'm always honking on stuff in that trash bin. Honking on trash bin. Honking on. Welcome to Honking on Trash Bin, where we, uh, <laughs> Gary, let's imagine the versions of ourselves that are dumpster divers. Okay. Like done. real, like, like freaking trash. Yeah. I've, I've eaten yeah. out of a dumpster before. Done. What? Oh yeah. Like I, I, I'm very destitute for a little while, man. I okay. ate like a bunch of garbage bagels, uh, from behind a bakery okay. in my early twenties. I, I didn't so. mean to shame you. I was just surprised. No, it's okay. Um, but I can put myself back into that mindset. Uh, when you're doing, when you, are you getting everything bagels there? Do those get tossed or is it mostly planes? You know, here's the thing about those bagels. Yeah, uh, real, real quick before we continue, I need everybody listening to put on uh, the 1987 American live action adaptation of the Garbage Pail Kids. Yeah, just cards. cue it up. You'll thank us. Just cue it up. You'll thank us and just play it in the background. Um, well, starting one, two, three, two, three, go now. Um, is that uh, they? It was all all service bakery, so it had all kinds of like sweet treats and shit. Uh oh. So everything was an everything bagel. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it was very funny because you had the definition uh, of everything presumably much wider than usually applied way to bagels. wider it was like a bed bath and beyond thing because you you would get a a, a a sweet bagel you know are you gonna save your bagel it'd be fine like get onion bagel are you and mispronouncing have, donut no, no no well there'd be both there were like pastries as well there were like sure um you know different uh different like scones and shit dear so dear like listeners a, i know that bagels and donuts are very different structurally things fuck off with yes. your commentary yeah, yeah please just just wait and save it for uh you know the garbage pail kids. gary can i digression so, three times down right now three times down uh, no, i'm just saying we're already two point. digressions down so i wanted to go I, one more level let down. me let me finish my point okay uh if you got like an onion bagel sure. and there was like a little bit of cinnamon on it yahtzee no yeah that problem. sounds good but you'd get like a cream cheese bagel and there'd be a little bit of everything or a little bit of garlic on it. What do you mean and a cream cheese you bagel? It would have cream cheese frosting on it. They were like these little bagel bite things. <laughs> you take like two bites and it'd be fine. And the third one would be like, oh, that's jalapeno and savory and weird. Uh, oh, Gary, no I, I, I feel like I can come with you on like, oh, these are they're in a trash bag. They're all, uh, you know, it's just bread. Yeah. I think once the cream, cream cheese. cheese is involved, I feel like you've endangered yourself i you know what i was definitely endangering myself yeah this is uh you know is no uh no good and then i moved on up and got a job and broke my tooth on a subway sandwich uh <laughs> so that was my early 20s <laughs> so, uh life's rich yeah. ta- life's rich rich pag- pageantry. pageantry yeah uh what was your third order digression it barely matters at this point i was just gonna say uh in terms of people commenting on shit we say I mm-hmm. I had my buddy Stuart, who is also your friend Stuart. I, I'm mm-hmm. aware. I don't want to get yelled at for that. Uh, on my stream, and we did some mm-hmm. improv. Oh yeah. Uh, don't do improv when people can put comments on your screen while you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, is what I learned. Uh, you should uh, you should start a live forum improv where people can just yell out their criticisms as you go. It's just being fact checked on improv is <laughs> is pretty like like someone suggested like Karl Marx. And I got into like God is dead shit, which is Nietzsche, and they were like booing me. Yes, <laughs> like, that's really rough stuff. It was it was impressive, uh, given that that whole stream is just like an escalating series of attacks, uh, back yeah. and forth between me and the viewers. You know. Well, uh, I'm sorry I missed it. All right, so uh, hopefully at this point the garbage pail kids have done something just incredibly uh, either just gross, gross or amusing or both. Yeah, and we're going to we just want to have that on the background while we talk about the Binding of Isaac expansion repentance. Yeah, for like for uh, an like an hour or whatever. Yeah. And then at that point you can finish the Garbage Pail Kids or not depending on how you're feeling. Yeah, we don't know how long it is. It might only be an it's, hour. It's, it's 97 minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, um, oh, Gary. Uh, um, so before we get into the repentance talk, I do want to take like a structural note uh, about what mm-hmm. we should call uh today's episode. Okay. Uh, and I was I spent some time thinking about today, uh, and I think we should really emphasize the increased difficulty of repentance. It is much harder. There's a lot more trouble. There's a lot of trouble. In fact, uh, if I were to give into hyperbole, which I have never fucking done in my entire life, you're a writer. Thank you, Gary. 
It's not a compliment, just a fact, but thank you. Nope, just just neutral statement. <laughs> I would I would go so far as to say that repentance is nothing but trouble. It's almost entirely trouble. And I, I wouldn't call trouble. this a special so much as we're doing, we're like commenting on- We're the, commenting on the, yeah, the expansion. So we're agreed that we should call this the nothing but trouble commentary? I think so. Yeah, no. excellent. I, th- I think that, uh, because it's, it'd be a special if we were being exhaustive. But one of the things is, that's cool about this is we can't, because it's only been out for a week and it's- bigger than anything it's the biggest fucking thing gary it would be like yeah. trying to like be authoritative on fucking skyrim or something yeah a week yeah. after it but came out i i definitely have uh 21 new character sundays in me to do today i yeah uh, <laughs> the, um you know so definitely definitely into that oh spoilers oh yeah so ground rules uh, uh we will be talking about spoilers uh yeah. this will we are not going to censor anything and we are going to talk nope. about both of the new ending paths yep and uh, the new character concepts uh, that we've had experience with. Um, no secrets. All, or all the secrets we know are on display here. Yeah. Uh, so if you are looking to go into Repentance Blind, uh, and we, we understand that you might be since it's only out on PC so far, uh, mm-hmm. you should skip this one and come back to it uh, when yeah. it's out for when you have reached your level of comfort. Yeah. Two weeks you can't listen to. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Everything to Guppy. <laughs> Fuck our SEO. Yeah. Yeah, you take take a fortnight off. Everybody take a breather. Ooh, Gary, yeah. maybe that's the first shirt. We got we get a legally non-actionable Fortnite guy on there. Uh okay. and then it's everything to copy. Take a fortnight off. Yeah, and there's a picture of that um the banana man. Uh I think we got to make it like a like a plantain man. The apple. Ooh. <laughs> like a savory version of banana man. Um so we we kind of discussed a general order of talking about this stuff, but we're going to be Lucy. Yeah. Uh, Oh, that's the other thing is uh, anything we talk about is still going to get like that's a specific thing that we would cover on the show. We'll still get a specific episode. We'll digress about something. Also, it might get patched because this is a moving target. Oh, yeah, Gary. So let's let's start with that as the first point. Let's let's start Uh, with the fact that our entire podcast is now obsolete. (laughs) That that Edmund fucking McMillan designed this fucking expansion. I'm saying fucking a lot Mm -hmm. because I'm mad to destroy our show. We got Scholar of the First Sin. This is exactly like in Bonfire Side Chat spent a year talking about Dark Souls 2 and then spent two episodes talking about how we were wrong about everything. And then they deleted the game you talked about. (laughs) Yep. Many things. Like a a week ago, I was bitching about the model for Clicker. Yeah. And now Uh, it looks like a fucking remote control. uh, Tons of things just do different things. Yeah. Like, and now where it's like, well, do we do another fucking episode on Holy Water? No. Because it's an entirely different item. You know, it, it it does something entirely different. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, we, we, we talked about rebooting the show, but then we had to do Sad Onion again. Yeah, and, and Sad Onion you know, is still pretty much Sad Onion. They didn't change Sad Onion. So it's a, it's a tricky situation that Edmund McMillan has put us into, and I will not forgive him for it. Uh, yeah, next next time we chat, I will uh, I'll let him know. Yeah, just let him know. Tell him I'm very disappointed in him. Didn't even get the interview offer this time. He talked to Patrick Klepek instead. <laughs> writer (laughs) (laughs) yeah uh so gary uh would you recommend people purchase repentance uh yes yeah uh unequivocally if you're a fan 100 percent, i think this is the strongest expansion they've done uh and i'm I'm saying that in you know with all the ones they've done so far not just comparing it to afterbirth plus which was kind of a disappointment until the end um yes and if you're not a fan of binding of isaac I think that if you're okay with just starting with a lot of content, it won't hurt you to start with this stuff. I I, I agree. The balance changes and things are things I generally like, actually, even if it does make it slightly less breakable. Uh, to me, the ways that it makes useless stuff useful uh, and the kind of just neatness to it uh, is something that I would have also liked from the beginning, I think. I I, I think so. I think you, you can look at this as... Edmund and and Nicholas because they've got mm-hmm. they put the time in on this too. Uh, yeah, but this is an attempt to I think make the definitive version of Isaac in a way that is. I know that was also sort of what Afterbirth Plus was supposed to be, mm-hmm. but this time it's good. Yeah, it, this time it's good. It's more definitive. You know, you think definitive is one of those things that's a sliding, you know, not a sliding scale, but this proves that it is. It's definitivist. It is the most definitive. It's not pen definitive. Or pendulette. Wait, well, somebody hasn't unlocked the third ending. Ooh. 
Um, <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> recycling is dumb. I think Gary Queen uh, agreed that recycling to... is dumb. It gets rid of all those good, good bagels. Uh, is... <laughs> well, I think I was recycling them. <laughs> In, into, into your body? <laughs> into bagels. Um, what? They were Wait, garbage. What? Into I turned them back into bagels. Oh, yeah. okay. I it was actually my roommate Mark who was pulling the like I would just kind of wait for the harvest. <laughs> you fucker! You're talking no, like you're like them. a full-on dumpster diver, and no, you're just Mark's kept man. Uh, I did a lookout once. <laughs> <laughs> like I was a lookout once. Yeah. Did you uh, did you arrange like whistles? Huh? No. The baker's I, coming. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, the bagelman. <laughs> Cometh the bagelman. Bagelman's coming. Look out. Um, Chesapeake bagels. In uh, DeKalb, Illinois. Shout out. Shout out. Um, the, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, um, I like the way that this has changed, though. I like how definitive this is. Um, there are things that I miss about it, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, because kind of in the first part of this, we're talking about new items and, like, balance changes and shit, roughly. And, like, you know, having two Steam sales make items free was good. Yeah, it was I fun. I wish yeah. they hadn't gotten rid of that. Like, it doesn't, it comes, there are some edge cases that were so rare that they nerfed that I think are like, this was so rare. Why did you do that? You know? Yeah. I, I don't kind of bum me out. Oh. Uh, but on the balance, I'm uh, thrilled as a pig and shit. And, and Gary, that's as thrilled as a pig can be. They love it. Pigs, they love pigs, it. pigs dirty. Yeah. Like, well, they're, 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 there's been like an attempt to like rehabilitate pigs. Like, oh, they're smart. They're actually very clean. Nah, pigs mm-hmm. are dirty little fuckers. Well, so if I was a pig, I would be. Oh, uh, draw that, please, folks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I would certainly, if I was a pig, I'd be happier in shit than like in Shangri-La or whatever. You know, as the old expression goes. Uh, yeah, very old expression. What uh, What other balance change things are you uh, you into? Uh, God. Gary, you're really, you're really putting me on the spot here. Not really. We we had an outline. I, <laughs> yeah, but I don't actually. It and I prepped you. What What did you want me to say? Just Gary, why don't you why just don't... do the show and I'll just make my little jokes. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, what else is a balance? Well, the the items that were formerly horrible that aren't horrible are cool now. Like holy water is bad, but I don't. It's not that much worse than Bob's brain now. Yeah, Just Gary, cool. I'm I'm in trouble here because this is hitting right as my memory is going. Mm. So it's like I can't remember the old ones and I don't know what the new ones do. So like old holy water, once you got hit, it left a little Tell stain me, Daddy, on the ground. Daddy Gary, help me. Yeah, it would leave a little stain on the ground that hurt people for like two seconds and G- leave. Gary, that sounds terrible. Oh, this, it's horrible. Is, this is the pivot. As my mind goes, you can tell yeah. me about Isaac's stuff. <laughs> teach me about Binding of Isaac. Yeah. The teaching of Isaac. Um, but now it acts like Bob's brain. Like you pick it up and you toss it at enemies and explodes on them and leaves a, a longer lasting creep stain that the enemy is like definitely standing in. Yeah. I mean, that is hurt. certainly better while still being bad. It's, it's not great, but it's like it's not disgusting. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't make me feel angry to see it. Now it's just like, oh, I, okay. I hope I can re-roll that. You know. Yeah. Uh, a, a lot of the rebalancing stuff is stuff that does not immediately. I don't notice it. Uh, yeah. Because they're just little tweaks a lot of the time to make stuff better. Like there's cool stuff like uh, little horn, uh, which oh, previously did like nothing. Or it. It made it would give you shots that instantly killed enemies. Yeah, cosmetically nothing. I guess I meant to yeah, say. Yeah, cosmetically nothing. Like it didn't yeah. make sense that the uh, little horn item just gave you orange tears that said science <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, melted just, enemies. Yeah, we're, uh, little horn did not seem to be particularly scientific. He wasn't wearing a lab coat, Gary. Mm-mm. No, he yeah, he doesn't wear any clothes. Uh, he wasn't like weirdly obsessed with Bruce Springsteen and would constantly uh, ask people questions. Like why uh, they weren't friends with her. Yeah. Sorry. These are things I associate with the scientist who had the biggest impact on my life. And is the reason I am not in grad school anymore. Thomas Dolby. Thomas Dolby. <laughs> the, the, um, but now uh, it summons Bighorn. It does. Great. Either to uh, reach up and grab the enemy, killing it instantly, which is what the item mm-hmm. always did. Mm-hmm. Or if it's a or- boss. Smack them around a little bit. Smack it. It's just, it's just cosmetic, but it looks great. Uh, there are also things like you can't breakfast yourself anymore. Oh, you can't? 
yeah, breakfasting is done. Oh. Now we will draw from other pools. That's fantastic. What if you draw from yeah. all pools? Um, if you draw from all pools, um, I think it stops. Like it's in the patch notes. Like it explicitly, they were trying to do stop breakfasting from happening. Oh, that's right. Uh, they, Edmund also released the patch notes for this update, and they are like eighty pages. It's a novel. Or so. It's it's huge. Yeah, yeah. Um, pills are much better now. Yeah, I they, have they thought that. Yeah, they but... expanded out pills. Uh, gave them some cool new effects. Uh, Shot speed now has its own pill for some reason. Mm-hmm. They eliminated. They changed the balancing on like the dumb meme pills. Yeah. Um, and then they also have like new items that interact with it. Have you gotten the uh, the false PhD? I've gotten it, but I didn't have any pills to play around with it. Oh, it's cool. Do you do you want me to spoil it? Yes. No spoilers, um, Gary. Oh yeah. Well, I didn't know if it applied for you. Yeah. I, I, you know um, what, Gary? I'll 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 be that. I'll give that large S. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it makes all pills bad. But whenever you take one, you get the bad effect plus a damage up. Ooh. So you get to trade your like shot speed downs and your speed downs and rage downs for damage ups. That's fantastic. And it identifies all pills still. So you don't take any, you don't act, like accidentally take like three speed downs in a row. Yeah. You know, um, I was like, man, this is a fucking good item. Oh, you know, what's like, a good, what's a good little rebalance? Hmm. Uh, the delirium portals don't show up anywhere except the yeah. void now. Because everyone yeah, hated them. The, Everyone hated them, and they're just like he was just like, he nerfed them like four times. <laughs> like the first update for that, they came out; they were in like every room, and everyone hated it. And he's like, "Well, we'll just get rid of some of them." And then they got rid of them, and he's like, "Oh, we'll make it so the stonies can't come out of them," because initially the the big fat stone guys could come out and make it impossible. And then he was just like, "Actually, nobody likes these. <laughs> like, what am I doing?" Yeah, you, you gotta know? you gotta put them. I kill your darlings. Kill Gary. I got all these darlings around the room, and they're kill all them. fucking dead. No, they're dead, man. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a fucking bloodbath over here. Police, you could have caught the darling killer. You could have. We podcasted all the clues. Too late. Uh, it's like it's yeah. fucking Boondog Saint. Boondog Gary? Gary? Boondoggle Gary, Gary. Saints? No, no, no. Boondog Saints. Ooh. So it's the Boondog Ooh. Saints, but <laughs> they're dogs. dogs. Well, plus yeah. Rocco, so a third dog. Plus Billy Connolly, yeah. so that's like an old like Mastiff. Yeah. And then who who in that is uh, Willem Dafoe? I Gary, it's tricky to go to go with, like, because the character like is a weird. It's hard to tell if that character is okay now. I have no idea. I I watched that in like 2018. Yeah, for the first time. I got no idea. Yeah, Willem Dafido. Willem, yeah, it's just Willem Dafido. Willem yeah. Dafido. It, <laughs> it, exactly the same, except for that he's a dog now. And that's actually the only change. The other Boondock Saints are humans, but yeah. now there's just a gay dog that shows up and solves their problems. There was a fire force. <laughs> the uh, uh, new uh, new items that are cool. Um, the uh, <laughs> new <laughs> items gotten... that are cool. Did yeah, you get? The... There's a little bit of a Mulaney steez on that. I liked it. <laughs> they are cool. Oh, Flay. Uh, have you gotten the uh, spin to win thing? Uh, I haven't. No. It's like a little top that spins around your body. Okay. Uh, and it charges itself and it spins really fast. And when you have it on, you can't shoot. So you can just do contact damage. All right. Uh, and it's really transmorphative is a very tricky, like you get to switch yourself between like shooting mode and melee mode kind of like you do pretty good damage with it. And if you have other orbitals, like they spin too, and you like kind of, you know, either are worth, you know, whirling dervish of death or firing. I kind of go back and forth. I'm into it, man. Like there's, there's Good. so many, the new items are all like, everything's interesting, like base interesting, mm-hmm. which is like, Even that's, you know, we should, we should mention, cause we haven't yet. A lot of these items are being pulled from anti-birth, which did a lot of work to like, there's very few really, items in anti-birth yeah. where it was just a thing. There, there are a couple, like there's like the lemonade pitcher and stuff. They're on anti-birth, but like the thing that's rad about this, I was expecting this just to be anti-birth. Mm-hmm. It's like three, four times as big as anti-birth. Yeah, they use it as a launching pad for yeah. uh, a lot of really innovative stuff and also the stuff they stole from uh, Enter the Gungeon. Yeah, 100%. Oh. And uh, the stuff they improved from anti-birth. Like, Bethany is was kind of annoying in anti-birth. Yeah. Uh, and Bethany owns fucking bones now. Bethany's very good. Yeah. Uh, Should we talk about characters? Or yeah. do you, we just want to talk about balance changes and items? Uh, I'm trying to think of any other, like... It's let me pull up the collection page real fast while you start talking about Bethany and then I'll interrupt you. 
so Bethany uh, in the has a, a weird gimmick, weird gimmick character where she can't have spirit hearts. She just holds onto them and uses them for charges for her spacebar item. This is always how Bethany's worked. And she comes with a book of virtues that gives her little flames that fly around her and shoot. And the idea previously was you'd make as many of these as you possibly can and try not to get hit because you wanted to have a huge army of them. Um, and it was tricky because if you got hit, you, you had no spirit hearts to absorb the blow. Um, and she gets angel room deals. But in Repentance, they made her book interact with every single active item in the game, mm-hmm. giving it a unu- unique effect, some of which are ridiculously overpowered. Uh, if you get like that with like crack the sky, like fucking good night, um, you know, or shoot the whoop wherever you get a bunch of little options that all shoot the whoop. When you shoot the whoop, it takes on the charge of whatever you pick up. Mm-hmm. So you can make it so you can just get tons of them. It makes it's like re- rehabilitates active items. It's it's amazing with active. It, it is a like it makes Gary. Have you gotten that with uh, Dead Sea Scrolls? I haven't gotten with Dead Sea Scrolls yet. Dead Sea Scrolls is really cool. First off, they took out Kamikaze as far as I know. Uh, right. So you can't do that. But you're just literally, it has a two-room charge, so you're generating them really fast. And uh, one of the weird quirks of Bethany is that the different options, uh, depending on what item they are associated with, form on different rings around her. Mm -hmm. So you can fill a ring. Each ring has, I think, six spots for an option. Dead Sea Scrolls Mm -hmm. means you can fill, like, three different rings. Yeah. And just have this huge, like, you know, artillery. It's fartillery. Uh, A a fartillery, finally. Uh, you know, they finally did it. Um, I love it with, uh, you'd think like, oh, this is, this isn't going to work for like single use items, but it does. Like if you do this with like, uh, Mama Mega, uh, which is already way cooler. Oh my God, Gary, one... Mama Mega is yeah. so much fucking cooler. Uh, and it, all yeah. it is is cosmetic really, but. But it looks cool as hell. And it gives you a really, really powerful like set of turrets and you don't have to keep it. Then you go pick up another item and just add to your army of turrets like bethany is incredible like like really really fun character oh here's a good one here's a good one i have uh, i played with some was the the new i'm still looking back at like the the yeah. items. uh the have you gotten the ice cube that you kick around yeah oh that's fun yeah that's uh that's very fun just a neat little uh, physics toy kind of just point yeah it's uh it's really interesting and it, most of the time when it works it works on accident yeah. But it's so powerful. Like the ice effect as a new status effect is really powerful. And getting uh, the ice tears, which I only got once on an Eden run, because even though I know how to get a planetarium, um, I haven't done it in game yet. Um, so have you seen a planetarium yet? Gary, I have not. Um, if you skip an item room entirely, like don't even look at it. Uh-huh. The next floor, you get a 50% chance to get a planetarium, uh, which has an item for each of the planets. And I think the one for uh, Uranus, <laughs> but I think it's the butt one. Um, I think it's that one it gives you ice tears. So you get tears that freeze. That's very cool. Uh, yeah. Um, but it's, it's like the Zodiac. There's like a whole new set of like themed items like that, but you have to skip an item room to get them. Uh, Gary, would you say that uh, there's a, a reward there, but in exchange uh, you're possibly taking on some kind of risk. It's mighty risky, but mighty rewardy. Ooh. Hello, I am Mighty Rewardy. Hail. Hail and well met. Bus is here. Oh. (laughs) It's the repentance Uh, era, Gary. People get on the bus fast. Yeah. Well, they they got places to go. They got to go play more repentance. Yeah. Or Hitman 3 or whatever they're playing. Or your Monster Hunter game. Whatever they're playing. Monster Hunter Rise. Yeah. Uh, So the the, the Ice Cube, when you get the, the planetarium thing, that's incredibly... Uh, incredibly cool. Um, there are a bunch of things I've unlocked now with Bethany. I've done almost un- all the unlocks for Bethany and I've just haven't gotten the items mm-hmm. for her, but I'm really excited because they're the one of them I did get, which is really cool, uh, which is the blessed penny, which is like the uh, bloody penny, but for spirit hearts. Oh, so that... you have like a 25% chance to drop half a spirit heart. That sounds amazing. Whatever. Yeah. Super good. Cause that's the other thing with uh, Bethany in case we weren't clear, like you can get a, you can charge up like, 50 uses of an active item uh if yeah. you're getting like a lot of spirit hearts that that's how i did delirium with her is because it was on my shoot to whoop run and i had like 30 spirit hearts so i could shoot 12 shoot to whoops you know 15 times uh and it still took forever because delirium is a horribly designed boss they yeah, did yeah. not uh, rebalance delirium nope still really bad super bad 
uh, Jacob and Izao. I have not. Uh, I play. I will just say right at the top. I have not. I have unlocked them, but I have not played with them yet uh, because I had a bad, very bad time with them when I played Anti Birth. They they are the most challenging character. Yeah. Uh, the gimmick is really interesting, but I find them also obnoxious and hard to use. Yeah, Gary, can you speak to what the the gimmick is since you've worked with them? Uh, the, I, I worked with them in Anti Birth. I unlocked almost everything in Anti Birth except for the uh, the alt path from anti-birth um there's two characters and you control them both at the same time uh so they both have their own stats their own items their own active items their own passive items you're moving one of them with your with the usual shoot buttons right you're moving both of them with the usual with it with not with the shoot button you move them both with a stick with the left stick and it's just tricky to keep them together because there's obstacles on the ground yeah it's it's very ice climbers uh in, uh in smash specifically yeah yeah, if you uh, if you can keep them together, they're very powerful because they both you know you're getting twice the damage, and you can do a lot of like cool things by picking up items that disappear at the same time. You know, so if you uh, if there's two items there and you can only choose one of them, if you pick them up at the same time with both characters, you'll get both of them. But once they get separated, it's very it's kind of like having like a it's slightly easier than having an Isaac's heart. Yeah, because uh, at you? least because uh, at least they can both shoot. They can both shoot. You can make it more uh, durable. You can choose which one gets spirit hearts and such, which one gets health upgrades. So it's like, it's kind of, it's very stressful. Like it adds a mental overhead factor of like 10 to the run. Uh, I cannot relax while playing as Jacob and Esau. And that's what you're playing this game for, Gary, is to to just finally let that hair down, bud. I do. Yeah, I just like to let the balls hang out. Let them balls hang low. Do they tumble? Do they grow? What's the... What do they do? Do your balls saying low? Do they tumble or are they? I'm comfortable letting this play line? out without me. Line? No. Line? I don't think so. Line? I don't think so. Line? Nope. Line? Don't think so. Line? Nah. Line? Uh-uh. Uh, what do you think the Garbage Pail Kids are up to right now, Gary? Uh, I think Nat Nerd just took a big piss Ooh. in the antique shop. And uh, they're all talking. And Greaser Greg is uh, roasting him. Uh, literally or figuratively? Figuratively. Okay. The Garbage Pail Kids stick together, which is kind of the theme. Uh, f- funniest thing about Garbage Pail Kids is that there is a, uh, a, gar- a dog catcher who catches weirdos, including the Garbage Pail Kids, because mm-hmm. there's kind of a message about diversity in there. And there are all these jail cells for people. And it's like too old, too young, uh, too skinny. But the person who's in the too fat is Santa Claus. I mean, Please Santa caught. Claus is, you know, uh, I don't want to fat shame, but Santa Claus. You want to concern troll Santa, Santa yeah. Claus? I kind of do want to concern troll Santa Claus, though, Gary. That's kind of the fun <laughs> for me. Cole. Yeah. <laughs> like Fanta Claus as the Juggalo Santa Claus. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be like Phantom Limb. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, or the Latigra version of Santa Claus. Um, the what? Latigra, the band. Their song Fanta. Okay. Gary, I, be- um, Gary? I believe you. Now, people could be forgiven for saying, hey, you guys have already talked about the two new characters in the game. Gary, I want to, I want to, Gary, just for, not for spoiler reasons, but for like tension reasons, I want to yep. put a pin in that. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll revisit it later. Gary, because it's, you know, when we're doing one of these like big, long conversations, I, I learned a lot watching Nothing But Trouble about uh, narrative structure. And the bone stripper. And the bone stripper. Mr. Bone stripper. Mr. Bone stripper. Yeah. <laughs> Gary, I don't think yeah. you have earned first name basis with, or last name basis with the bone stripper it's because i went to gym class with them oh i went to gym so just called Ooh. <laughs> I, like, oh. I, I don't have a plus one for that i just like it. <laughs> i like uh, that you call it a plus one yeah uh not anymore no more no less uh so let's uh i think we should talk about uh the routes yes so uh, first um, off, uh, none of this is going to unlock until you are pretty fucking comfortable with the Binding of Isaac. Like the the item stuff we've been talking about is all in the game when, and the rebalances are all in the game when you do when you install Repentance. Mm-hmm. Uh, is is did Afterbirth Plus get a bunch of these too? Like, did those apply to Afterbirth Plus? If you don't, I don't. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, Who plays that old dinosaur? <laughs> oh, Not it's me. me, old Stegosaurus. Uh, is the bus coming, old Stegosaurus? Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm getting in the hyperloop. Oh, <laughs> drive away slowly. <laughs> um, drive away time, slowly. <laughs> but don't let go. Um, uh, because to uh, 
one of the things repentance adds is a whole basically separate route through the game yes uh but it uh, is only unlocked once you have beaten uh, hush three times yes uh which i just uh, spent like 10 minutes if i i was ch- see if you can figure out where i was checked out for like five minutes trying to look up what that unlock condition was <laughs> during this recording go back, and, go back and put in a marker um <laughs> The uh, no, I want the uh, I want the audience to figure out where I was least invested. Well, I want them to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want them to, to write in with their time codes. Um, or write the, in with uh, your thoughts on the movie time code. Mm-hmm. Or write in and send us your time codes, so I can uh, use your youth. Or send me your time card, uh, so I can see if you're on the fucking clock. And then hey, if you're listening to the hey hey Gary Gary. Mm-hmm. I, I'm taking a pivot in the repentance era. Do an anti-union yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazon angle? Uh, okay. if, if you're listening to this on company time, I need you to turn it off and walk to HR and turn yourself in right the fuck now. Or, or? give us 50% of your salary while you're listening. <laughs> okay. Gary is going at, uh, we're both being uh, capitalist bootlickers here. It's just in two no. very different ways. <laughs> I'm going mob, mob scab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Oh, um, Mob Scab is my favorite uh, Garbage Pail Kid. It's my favorite Boz Skaggs album. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, uh, uh, so the, this alternate path is taken pretty much directly from Anti-Birth. Yeah. Um, they made it a little easier to get to. Um, you had to have a resource at the end of uh, these sets of floors. Yes. Uh, um, and they're just harder. There's not an advantage other than going to the alt ending. I mean, you know, there, like there, they're there's, not... there's little things you can do. Uh <laughs> Like you can get like uh, when you do downpour two, you can get extra uh, get an extra boss item. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but um, but you generally you are right. You are doing this to get uh, access to the new uh, the new final one of the two new final levels, or for the thrill of the hunt. Yeah, or like you ju- want to fight new bosses and and new enemies and shit. Yeah, if you just want to see new shit, uh, which you should, especially God Gary, I, I we're not there yet. I fucking love the mausoleum so much. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really inventive and cool and thematically, like, rad as hell. Yeah. Um, And the new bosses are really good. Um, They're really well-baked. Like, because, you know, they made them all for anti-birth. And they're just like, uh, there are other ones that they added as well. Uh, Not just the the final bosses, but, like, there's, like, the horny bros or whatever they're called. Yeah, well, every, yeah, every new, uh, each one of the new areas has three or four new bosses. Yeah. And then they even have alt versions uh, when you get the alt versions of those floors. Yeah. Like there's a, for the poop version of downpour, there's a poopier version of some of those bosses. Two of them. There's yeah. two unique bosses to the, uh, the poop floor, uh, three actually. Um, and the, the ash pit has like a real fucker. Have you had, um, scorch? I, uh, God, I think I have, but, uh, it's been a minute. That guy's hard. Uh, he's a humanoid who lights his own farts on fire. What he's a, what a beautiful based around thought. that. What a beautiful thought. <laughs> oh, they added a bumbo boss too. I have fought the Bumbo boss. He's path so agnostic. Yeah, he's what? Oh, path agnostic. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I misheard that. It, it sounded like you're describing a medical condition he had or something. Yeah, he's got. Like, he's gosh, got path agnostic. Don't make fun of him. Yeah, don't don't make fun of him, Gary. <laughs> like, Gary, Gary. He, Bum- Bumbos only do this when they're incredibly stressed. Yeah. Which they always are because uh, they want coin. They need coin. Bumbo need coin so uh, bad. He loves the coin. You know they updated uh, Bumbo too. I know. I haven't played it yet, though, because of repentance. <laughs> really, I, you I done like fucked Bumbo. yourself, Edmund. Yeah, you just you, you're 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 distracting me with the keys and then handing me, you know, a ice cream cone. I'm a baby. I know which one I want. Okay, I, I thought it was going to be like keys to the Porsche or something, but you went ice cream. <laughs> I went you, baby. You big fat piece of shit. <laughs> I went baby. <laughs> Carrie went baby. Uh, I went baby boom boom. Um. So the, these different floors, we should probably talk about them. Yeah. Like in, in cursory, even though they'll get their own chapter Sundays. Yeah. Of course. Uh, the downpour, which is a waterworks and HVAC themed level. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, it looks with, amazing. It looks really, really good. Um, it's like, I love the like lighting effects and like the lightning and stuff. Yeah. Like when lightning will strike and, and there are enemies that just show up in a reflection. Yeah, uh, in the water. Uh, it it, it really makes the flooded caves look like shit. <laughs> Absolutely, the flooded caves. What there is like that that didn't even walk, so this could run. Yeah, like that died, so this could run. Um, really, really cool though. And then there's a alternate version that's a sewer. Yeah, called the dross. Uh, called the, the dross that's just full of shit and introduces like whole rooms that are like a conveyor belt that like flow in a direction. Yeah, 
which uh, is a mechanic they just use once. Like they only use it in that alternate floor. Yeah. Uh, and it adds in a mechanic where there are like, there can be like poison clouds that if you're in for very long, you'll take damage, which is a neat mm-hmm. area denial kind of thing. Yeah. Really cool. Uh, the second set and to my money, the hardest set, um, I think these are harder than the mausoleum is the mines. The, mi- the mines, the mines is rough and the mines is maybe the least, uh, interesting of the three, even though the bosses on it are really cool. The bosses are great. Um, but it, its theme is rock and fire. Yeah. Or in the ash pit bone, which ash pit is, uh, you unlock yeah. those by killing all of the bosses for the, uh, the new bosses for that given floor. You'll unlock its mm-hmm. alternate version. Mm-hmm. And they're just like, they're just challenge versions like the necropolis. Like yeah. you just get them sometimes if you're, you know, bad luck. Um, but this is hard because the enemies are really, uh, tanky. Yeah. Uh, and they're, they're doing a lot of like, it, like the main enemy attack thing is like the, uh, the earthquake kind of attack. Yeah. There's a lot of that shit around. Hard to predict. I love how, uh, the spirit hearts are now little rocks with legs that you have to kill. Oh, that is fun. Yeah. You'll blow up yeah, a, yeah. a marked rock and instead of just getting your spirit heart, it's a little, uh, spider rock. It's a little guy you have to kill, you know, and the little ember ones. That's mm-hmm. great. Uh, and the bosses for that are really good. Yeah, that has um, my favorite. Uh, it was my favorite anti-birth boss, and it's my favorite new boss now, which is uh, Hornfell. Yeah, Hornfell is amazing. Uh, who's a little guy who rides around on a mine cart. We'll talk about him on Boss Sunday. Mm-hmm. I'm also, uh, have you gotten or, and I didn't do it in this new version, but I did confirm it's still around, the uh, alternate kill for Great Gideon? Uh, no, Gary. What's, what's, the, what's that? Uh, if you hit him with a chaos card. Ooh. Uh, he explodes open into a unique crawl space full of items. Like you get to go down and crawl into his guts. Oh, that's amazing, Gary. And like, it's never going to happen. I love uh, like fucking it's generous to have these incredibly rare, powerful events. Yeah. Uh, Great Gideon is, is interesting because he's essentially just greed mode. Yeah. He's a wave base. Yeah. Boss. But before greed mode was a thing. Yeah. And like he's uh frustrate from anti-birth. Um, in the, uh, the third section, the mausoleum the mausole- or the mausoleum. Gehenna. Yeah. Gehenna, uh, which is, uh, full of like fucking like, uh, not, I almost said trilobite, Cenobites. It's, it's pretty like, Cenobite. Yeah. There's, there, yeah. there's definitely a, a certain Clive Barker did executive producing on this. Uh, uh, you know, yeah. Clive Barker, of course, best known for, uh, Lords of Magic starring Scott Bakula. Gary, it's time for the mm-hmm. QLC. <laughs> did you listen to the nothing but trouble commentary? I, I have not now. I ended up li- just, uh, because we couldn't stop talking for that one. I just left the music on for like. I don't know, 10 minutes? <laughs> it was pleasant. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm pulling up you know, the page. I, I, so I, I go back and forth between uh, thinking that people who reacted poorly to last week were being dicks or being justified. Oh, they're, And that's a powerful token in them being justified. I mean, you know. I didn't realize that. And I remember, Gary, it was like two people complaining. All just a dream. A majority of the boogeyman. Maybe. After all, Sam knew where to go to save Tully from falling off a ladder. Something that he couldn't have known if it was all just a dream. And that's That's been the QLC. You remember that episode, Gary? Nope. Uh, Stephen King's in that one. Ooh. That's like the reveal at the very end of the episode. Is like there's this guy named Stevie. uh, And at the end he's like, oh, that, that sounds like a good idea for a book. And like, Stephen King? He's not much of an author, but I love him as an actor. Uh, it's not Steven. It's not him playing himself. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's weird because he does that a lot. He does it sometimes. He's always showing up and stuff. And it's just like, man, you, gotta, you don't got a face for this, dude. You got a writer's face. The mausoleum is about uh, gimp-faced leather freaks who throw their intestines at you and shit. Uh, and then teleporters. And cool uh, nun things that project yeah. uh, invincibility shields, which is a really cool mechanic. Yeah, force fields. Like, you have order, orders of operation. Mm-hmm. Tons of little puzzle rooms. Like, rooms where you have to teleport in a certain order um, and get across spikes to get items that are, like, hidden. Or have flight. Things like that. Yeah, or have flight. You can you can bypass all that shit. Um, and the thing we didn't mention is that each of these floor, in the downpour and in the mines, there's uh, two parts of an item you can get by doing these special events. Yeah. Which, then once you get to the mausoleum... Uh, if you fight the final boss uh, there, which is Mausoleum Mom or yeah. Gehenna Mom, which, which is, is extra tough. Yeah, it's a harder version of Mom. Um, you do a wild final. Uh, you fight Mom's heart again. You know, also a harder version of Mom's heart. 
way harder. Uh, and then go to the alternate second, like the fourth set of alternate floors. The corpse. Yeah, the corpse. Um, which is easier, I think, than Gehenna and the mines. Uh, um, I've had really good, the corpse has been pretty easy for me. Yeah, the corpse is not super hard, uh, and at least until you get to the final boss of it. Yeah, the final boss is done. Gary, does it throw you off every fucking time that the corpse has two floors? Uh, no. Well, then I guess I'm just the asshole. It, it throws me off that I don't fight a boss before fighting the final boss. Yeah. I always expect there to be a boss there instead of just the pit. Just a big hole. You know, I'm glad that there's just the pit, but um, the bosses for the corpse are incredible. I love uh, Rot Gut. Yeah, I have not seen, uh, I have not gone, I have not gone down this path too many times because I felt so, I felt hard for the other path, so. Gotcha. I don't want to ruin Rot Gut for you, even though spoilers are on the menu. Yeah. So, um, and then you fight the new final boss. Uh, which is totally reworked. They didn't just take the anti-birth. Yeah. Uh, uh, it used to be called the witness. Yeah. It looks like the, uh, the original anti-birth boss, uh, at least at the start, which is, uh, a revamp, basically a posthumous version of mama Gertie. Yes. That's called mother. Um, and this is a really good, uh, bullet hell boss. Um, you can dodge these attacks. Yeah. You know? Uh, it has a couple really cool, uh, like it does a thing that I love and I know this is like a Gungeon thing. A lot, like mm -hmm. we alluded this to, to this before. There's a lot of Gungeon DNA. You can tell, yeah. I, I would be shocked if Edmund had not been playing a lot of Gungeon while designing this stuff. Yeah, me too. Um, but like, uh, the, it'll, during its second phase, it will trace out, uh, lines where bullets will come and, and hit you. So it's, it's basically taking like the idea of like Hush's continuum tiers and making them mm -hmm. not complete and total horse shit that can go fuck itself in uh, a rainy gutter. So it like skyrockets to, you know, one of the best super bosses. Like I still think I like Mega Satan more, um, but not much more. Yeah, it's it's you know? good. It's hard, but it's it's good. Yeah, extremely good. Um, this gives you a new ending, which we should we should do an ending special at some point. We should, you know, because uh, you know, we haven't the, really talked about the ending. The lore special, the lore special, which we I know we've hinted at a lot, but this uh, this blows that wide open. Um, so when you do this the first time, it unlocks a door uh, on the depths two or mausoleum two that unlocks the other alt path. Yeah, which uh, is which I, amazing. I, I love how because uh, I I got it on accident. Mm -hmm. Like you can't open the door, but. One of my, like, when I'm heavy in Isaac, one of the things I do a lot is uh, try to make boss rush and then teleport out. Yeah. And it rewards that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, you will see this door that you can cannot open. It's called a strange door when you unlock it. Uh, and it has a uh, picture frame on it. Uh, although, you know, with Isaac, everything's, like, visually abstract, so it can be kind of hard to tell that. Mm -hmm. So the trick yeah. here, and again, we're spoiling. Mm -hmm. is that you need to bring either the Polaroid or the negative to it, which means you need to te be able, you need to teleport out of mom's room after killing mom. Yeah. The negative is also really good now. Have you, did you notice that? Uh, no, I always take the Polaroid. So if the, uh, the negative, instead of doing all the nonsense that it before is now just a big damage up. Oh, that's fantastic. I know reason to go to the dark path. And when you go to the dark path, instead of those, just like four random red chests, it gives you four devil deals oh, fuck it to choose from. Man. Yep. People are going to fight the lamb again. How long has it been since anyone's fucking fought the lamb? It's been six years, eight months, and two days, Gary. I, I got it written down. <laughs> like, and now? Welcome back, old friend. Your Welcome dreams, back, your girl. lamb, your dreams were your ticket out. The, Welcome uh, back. I bought a ticket That's, for the world. That same old place we laughed about. Yeah. Um, Gary, you want to talk about uh, Welcome Back, Cotter? Uh, Cod, I thought you were doing comic there's always something there to remind me. What? I thought you were doing, uh, there's always something there to remind no, me. No, Gary, I was quoting the, the Welcome Back Cotter theme song. You you are, uh, you tr do treat theme songs as real music way more than I do. Like it's like songs to listen to fucking, on mixtapes and stuff. Songs horseshit. get rejected to volume one and stuff. Real fucking horseshit thing to say, yeah. <laughs> is it, is it, where's the real. lie, man? <laughs> I've been in your car, like, you, you, like you're constantly throwing on video game music and theme songs to TV shows. Yeah, but that's just because, A, they're great, and B, it annoys you. I don't think that's true. I, I think that there are times where you did not know you were giving me a ride, and, and that's still in your car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. Gary, are you saying it's not normal to drive around listening to the Gravity Falls theme song? Yes. Um... So what happens when you teleport out to get to this door? Just give me a fucking minute, man. 
got to pull these fucking knives out of my back. Okay. Um, let's 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 talk let's talk the ascent. Yes. Uh, once you do this, you start going back up through the floors you've already visited in kind of abbreviated versions. And while having your uh, divorce trauma triggered. <laughs> yes, your parents fight over it. Okay, and well, oh, Gary, the- we should be clear. We skipped a step. Uh, when you go through the door, you go down into uh, Mausoleum oh, yeah. 2. Yes. Uh, but when you get to the end of it, there's no boss. There's just an item there called Dad's Note. Yep. And this triggers your ascent. Um, where there is genuinely affecting... Uh, voice acting. Actually, yeah, actually, like fighting. emotionally, uh, all of the new story stuff is affecting. The new ending is really? uh, is affecting. Yeah, both of them. Yeah. Uh, just really, really good stuff. So you're climbing up, um, like basically you're doing smaller versions of every floor you've gone through. Mm-hmm. Um, no bosses. Yeah, you're starting from no the items, boss rooms no and going back uh, to the starting rooms. Uh, if mm-hmm. you left any items uh, in item rooms on your way down, they're still there. Along mm-hmm. and also there's a there's a trick there to uh, once you've unlocked it. Mm-hmm. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, so essentially you are climbing back up through, and every couple floors they play this uh, dialogue happening between Isaac's mom and dad as their marriage falls apart. Yeah, my um, absolute minor nitpick, just sky, you know, pie in the sky thing, is that I would have liked if you got different fights the, every time. Yeah, it's a little samey, isn't it? Yeah. And, and, you know, obviously they've, they've had lots of different, and that to me, like kind of, you know, when you're a kid whose parents fight a lot, um, you do hear variations on themes. Yeah. Gary, I, know? I think we could, I think we could do some work here. I think this could be our, the, the, our first big mod. Where, uh, you hear about the dissolution of the everything to guppy podcast as you climb up. Oh, that would be good. Gary. Fighting. I was just going to say, we could just like act out some like, uh, really intense, uh, relationship troubles. Uh, yeah. but what is this podcast? If not that already, you're right. Yeah, the, the um, uh, as you go up, it's totally normal to have the X Files theme song, but it's a techno version on a CD. <laughs> you are insane. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got a little like it was somewhere in the Limbaugh Alex Jones continuum. There, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of how he says it when when the dad says that. Yeah. You are insane. You are You're taking this too far. These deals are wild. <laughs> the, the Sandy Hook never happened. Whoa. All right. <laughs> okay, Dad. That's what the note from Dad says? What the fuck, Isaac? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you, you head on up. Uh, and once you get to past the first floor that you went through, you go to the house. Like you're no longer in your room. Yeah. Isaac no has the basement. climbed back out of the basement. Uh, you walk out, you go past, uh, you have your room and a TV room and a weird little side room that sometimes has a bomb in it. Yeah. Well, it's a closet. And it's, it's meant to be, uh, pointing you towards the big secret. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's definitely there for that for symmetry reasons. Um, and you, you go and you sleep in mom's bed, uh, and this unlocks the final two bosses. Well, sure. You also uh, open a have. chest in mom's room yes. that the first time has, uh, an incredibly important and amazing and weird item in it. And then after that just has a mom's item. What's crazy about this item is that this item was an anti-birth, but it was just there uh, to randomly kind of trigger. Yeah. On regular floors, you can kind of just well, that's randomly still what it generate does. rooms on the fly. It lets you make yeah. new it may, lets you make new rooms. Yes. Which is really cool. Like what a cool possibility space. Yeah. But now they gave it a a more bespoke reason for existing. Yeah. And then you walk back out of mom's room past, uh, the most insane secret in the entire game that I can't believe is in there. That will again, yeah, the most wild contribution of effort. Yeah. Related to how heavily Generosity. it's fucking hidden. Yep. In a video game, maybe ever. <laughs> uh, and then you go fight the new final m- boss. Yeah. Um, we'll talk about that secret in a second. Really building it up here. I mean, Gary, it supports it. <laughs> it does great. It's amazing. Um, it's going to keep me playing this for years. Like probably like I'm going to wait until this gets to switch. So I don't have to redo everything. Yeah. I'm still like poking on my computer, but I want to have my cannon safe, but I will, you know, play this for like a year to unlock all this stuff. Um, the uh, TV comes to life and you find an enemy called dogma. Yeah. And it's specifically um, like the idea here is this is the Christian broadcasting that Isaac's mom has uh, like it's uh, the, the carpet has a giant cross on it. Yeah. This is basically the brainwashing that Isaac's mom has been uh like mainlining for the last several years. Yes. 
Uh, and it's hard as fuck. It is hard as fuck. So uh, it manifests as a uh, Isaac style baby umbilical corded to the TV. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the TV is the enemy. Yes. At least the fir- at first. Um, and the freeze one is okay. Uh, it's pretty neat. It does like um, it telegraphs its beam attacks. Yeah, it, you know, which it will it, it will like kind of send out these like shadowy beams uh, that will eventually form into white brimstone lasers. So you are yes. uh, you're just dodging those while you're trying to like hit the TV. Um, it also will do godhead shots, which will hurt you if you stay in them long enough. Yeah, uh, which is cool. You know, it's using Godhead. Uh, the real hard thing is when it becomes second phase. Yeah, you break the TV, but now uh, the the angel is on on the hunt. Yes, um, and this is really difficult. the The thing it does when it spins around and flies uh, on the diagonals, I have never found a way to reliably dodge this. It's really hard. It moves really fast. It turns into like a uh, a biblical angel, which is to say, like a bizarre geometric shape. Mm-hmm. Uh, and starts like charging all over the fucking place while firing a ton of ain- uh, feather projectiles at you. Mm-hmm. It's it's you're going to take hits. Yep. Uh, and you know you beat this and you get an ending of sorts. Um, and I'm like, oh, okay, it's the end of the game. Yeah. You know, this was the new alt boss, but no. Uh, it actually just sets up a storybook kind of thing that sets into the real final boss, which is, to my mind, more fun than Dogma um, and just really, really satisfying and cool. Uh, I, I agree, Gary. Uh, we were talking, of course, about the beast. Yes. Uh, where you are fighting the large dog from the Sandlot. Gary, were you a... Did this, I have a feeling that the Sandlot probably hit too late for you, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little too old yeah. for the Sandlot. Lots of references to the Sandlot. I mean, kid, uh, kids my age love that fucking thing. The little orange kid. They love that orange guy. You're murdering me, Smalls. Yeah. Yeah, you're murdering me, Smalls. I'm, there's an, uh, uh, in either an anti-birth or a ma, there's a marshmallow item that quoted that. Okay. Yeah. Gary, um, I'm, I'm, I, I didn't mean to be uh, relevant, but fuck, I was relevant as hell. You're always relevant, dude. You'll always be relevant to me. Gary, that's beautiful, but you're like... Uh, out of like you're Lying? you're you're coming out of the demographic, man. Yeah, <laughs> you are you are becoming yeah. less marketable by the minute. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been marketable, man. I'm just, I'm just saying yeah. it as a data point. That's true. Uh, I have more disposable income, though. I should tell people that. I I know. Yeah, I'm like, less likely to buy the Sandlot, but I'm more likely to buy like one up arcade miniature arcade machines and shit. It's true. It's just like traditionally, like you have five years left of uh, like where your data matters, like. In mm-hmm. terms of like what TV is still made, yeah, I would really, I would really uh, try to use those, man. Try to try to get something good happening with that. Do you think the fact that I don't watch TV really? Well, we're gonna change. Will hurt me in that. We're gonna change that. Oh, I'm gonna well, hook you up with uh, <laughs> me and this uh, little <laughs> mouse in my pocket who's got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not, the, the mouse and the right machine attack. gun. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, R.I.P. R.I.P. Mouse and the machine gun. Um, Gary, we're going to hook you up with so many fucking young Sheldons. You're going to have a harem of young Sheldons. <laughs> the dream. Non-sexual. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm going to squeak, squeak several young Sheldons <laughs> uh, into my employ. Um, I mean, they'd be good workers. Well, it depends on the kind of work. I, I'm, I'm thinking like computer programming or some shit. I was thinking like menial labor. I was thinking about assembling iPhones and mining for rare earth crystals. I don't think they'd be great at mining out rare earth crystals, Gary. They, uh, yeah. they're not, you know, they're not outside boys. I, I'm not necessarily doing it to get the crystals. I'm doing it to punish young Sheldon's. Okay. You know, so in that, in that respect, I would succeed. Yeah. But I feel like there's more efficient ways that don't involve you, uh, being like Jeffrey Wright and buying a mine. I, you know, I don't think there are more efficient ways where they would do it. Capitalism would have solved it. Okay, are you paying so. the young Sheldons? <laughs> uh, of a way, of a in a manner of speaking, yes. Like room, you mean like room and board and like company script? Script, yeah, okay. Gary script. Gary, Gary pays his young Sheldons in company script. <laughs> yeah, it's Gary all, butter rubles. There we go, Gary. There's the there's the fucking t-shirt. Just yeah, you Gary. standing over a bunch of young Sheldons with a whip, tossing <laughs> Gary rubles at them. Yeah, Gary Buckerfields. Here, have it. Um. <laughs> So the, the final boss, the beast is incredible. Uh, it's a side scrolling. You get an item here 
uh, the only way you can get it, which gives you three red hearts, flight and holy mantle. Yeah. Uh, and it's called dogma. Yeah. Which is uh, basically there to make sure, uh, you don't immediately die. (laughs) You have a, you have a fighting chance because you're going to fight four ultra amazing versions of the sins. Yeah. So again, this Uh, is now a side scrolling cuphead level. Um, which if you have certain items, you can tell that it's still just fucking Isaac that has been hacked to shit with like a weird scrolling background and stuff. But Epic hack is really weird with it. Yeah. Like you have to, yeah, you really have to arc that shot. Um, but these are really cool. Like all of these really fun, fair attacks. Yeah. So you're fighting four huge versions of the harbingers. Uh, they all work the same way in that you're, uh, basically killing the horse and then killing the man. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you fight the beast, which is like a cuphead flappy bird thing. Yeah. Where you're dodging stalactites and stalagmites. Remember, uh, Gary. And bullets. Stalagmites might hang from the ceiling, but they don't. <laughs> stalactites touch either the ceiling or the floor. Either the... Gary, that was so close to spelling out tights, and now I'm like trying to figure out what the acronym here is. But uh, as I said earlier, my mind is going, so. It's okay. I understand. Uh, this is great. This is really fun. I have a pretty good success rate with the Beast. Uh, the, yeah, um, the Beast is not, once you know a couple of like the tricks, like know to watch out for the giant screen filling uh, Mega Brimstone, the Beast yeah. is not hard. The the harbingers are more likely to hit you. I've found it, and the harbingers vary a lot as well. Like I have a really good track record. Like if I can get to death, I'm sitting pretty. Death is death um, is not too bad. Yeah, uh, war fucks me up uh, fairly well. Pestilence, I think, and, is, is nasty. Yeah, pestilence is is yeah. For being the first one, it's very nasty. Yeah, uh, or famine is the first one. That's what I meant then. Yeah. 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 Famine. Famine is incredibly nasty. I would say the two easier ones are death and uh, pestilence. I think that that, that uh, bears out in real life, too. I had to think about it for a second, but yeah. I mean, I just said it, Gary. I don't mean it. No, I, like, it, it's it's arguable. Gary, let's. <laughs> let's not. I had to eat dinner at some point. <laughs> um, the, 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 uh, so after you do this, you get the, the true uh, true ending. That feels very final. Yeah. Uh, oh, and the beast yeah. is also still wearing all of these new bosses are still variants on mom. Uh, yeah. The beast is wearing uh, mom's dress, mm-hmm. uh, even though it is extremely huge and satanic and looks like a giant frog. Looks like that the fucking lava frog. frog from Spelunky 2. Yeah. This is how you see me. Um, the, this uh, is the movie. Now the you secret. see me. I, I liked that movie. Did you? <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen it since it came out, but I remember liking it quite a bit. All right, next commentary. <laughs> we should do it on Now You See Me, Now You Don't, the sequel. It's, that's not what it's called, is the infuriating thing. Oh. That, that, that sucks. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> like, now I don't like Just it. Just quiet resign, that sucks. It's like, um, let's talk about the big secret and then call it for the repentance special. Yeah, because uh, uh, we will talk about the like the lore stuff at, a, at another time, but it is... And all these individual floors and characters and bosses and stuff like this basically re it not only did it obviate the first half of the show, but it also extended. Yeah. The, the show whole point of this, this of commentary uh, is just to get this shit out of our heads. So we're not doing it every single episode, like screaming, Oh my God, repentance. Yeah. It's going to be real bleak while we're spending, you know, the better part <laughs> of a year, just going through the shitty items from Afterbirth plus for a while. Uh, yeah. Know? It's like, we've got like four or five months of them left. Yeah. Yeah, Trinket Sunday is going to get real sad for a little bit, too. <laughs> Even though we can start rotating out character Sundays, but we get to unlock them. But also, Gary, um, we can do whatever the fuck we want. The sh- <laughs> no one true. cares. I, I the would show's like to see, broken. I would like you to see the Garbage Pail Kids movie at some point. Please, please. It, it's I mean, really unpleasant. Yeah, it should be on right now. Yeah. Well, it is for the audience, but not oh. for us. Oh, we you're talking about me. To put it on. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that, man. I watched yeah. nothing but trouble for you. <laughs> I watch nothing but trouble for you. Who who's the, um, what's, what was the parody there? Huh? No, it was Gary. <laughs> that was it was me as a musician. Oh, you're doing your your uh your singing voice in Modridge. Yeah, I watch nothing but trouble for you. Um, use this item that you get in Mom's chest the first time, or a variant of it. Yeah, called uh the Red Key. Yes, to unlock a secret door, 
and the like the just absolutely mind blowing, ball bustingly, groin grabbingly generous thing. Yeah. So, uh, this, so to be uh, clear, so uh, in home, so when you have this item, uh, you can yeah. see outline like red outlines of doors. Uh, yes. And this item either exists as a uh, reusable four room charge re- item or as a card, essentially, uh, yes. which there is a trick to making sure you get one of those. Yes. Uh, and in when you use it in home, you get an alternate version of whichever character you're using. Yeah. Uh, you will open this little closet and in there is whoever you are using crying. Yep. And that is how you unlock the tank. The 17 extra characters. The 17 they didn't extra fucking characters, Gary. 17. 17 with their own individual th- unlocks. Brand new mechanics. Ah, <laughs> like they don't there are 34 play. 34 characters in this. There's so fucking much. It's the most insane thing I have ever fucking seen, Gary. When the amount of like, I was really, once I found, like once I grok the concept of this. Like you you think it's going to just be like, oh, the stats are a little different. No, they, they totally they play so much differently. They have mechanics that don't exist in the rest of the game. They have rechargeable like, uh, key item, like like trinket yeah. items. Kane's alternate version is you don't get items. You have to craft them out of pickups. Oh, my God. And there's an entire crafting recipe system <laughs> for which pickups make which items. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Like, it could be its own game. It's fucking weird. So, Gary, there, there, there's no way for us to be exhaustive here because we haven't unlocked them all. I've only unlocked Tainted Judas. So these are collectively called the Tainted. Once you have unlocked yeah. them, uh, you can hit you hit uh, a button on the character select screen to go to a whole other character select screen where they are. Wild. I have unlocked Tainted Judas, and I have unlocked Tainted mm. uh, Azazel. Those are the only two I have so far. Those are, I don't have those. So that's interesting. So we, yeah, I can't talk about those, but I can talk about other ones. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's do the run through on the ones we have done. Uh, starting with yes. Tainted Isaac, which is, I have only read about, which they put fucking rainbow runs in fucking yeah. Isaac, man. Isaac is why uh, Tainted Isaac is wild. Uh, every item pedestal, he doesn't have the D six, but every item pedestal in the game will rotate between two different things. Gary, we're running out of time for you to learn how to say that word. Which, uh, which pedestal word? McElroy? <laughs> McElroy. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I got it right. Got it in two. Um, Is it because they can... sit on the items so you think of them as stools? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I know. We've been going it's for like, an hour. I was probably like in fourth grade and, and just never got corrected when I was young enough to learn things. And this is why teachers need to be meaner. Te- well, they need to do their fucking job. Yeah. Of... Teachers let me spell people with an A for like 15 years of my life. Jesus Christ, Mrs. Deason. Come on. <laughs> I know. God damn it, Mrs. Ring. Um, so you can only have eight, Id- eight passive items at a time though. Yeah. I, so I, I got, cra- I got real aggro about interrupting you. Can we say again? Exactly. What- oh, uh, so you, every, everything has the, there's options effect. Yeah. Except it's on its own pedestal. So I'll switch back and forth. So you can always get a choice of what you get, but you have limited space. Um, so you only have eight op- eight items that you can have in the entire eight passives you can have in the entire run. So You're getting the best possible ones. Yeah, you're crafting a run. And then uh, you uh, drop, like, if you pick up another item, you drop, you pick one of the old ones to drop. Yep. Uh, So you're making this, like, kind of risk-reward decision. It's very Rainbow uh, Runs-esque. Grand fucking new mechanic. Um, And an entirely new mechanic. Uh, I talked about Kane, uh, who's real crazy. That's insane. I Um, have not read about that one. That's nuts. I'm I'm, I'm I'm being kind of selective about what I see of this because I want to, like, be surprised. That's nuts. Me too. I, I don't know all of them. Um, I know uh, the ones I have, which are Isaac Kane. Um, I have Apollyon, uh-huh. uh, which uh, Apollyon, instead of doing anything with the void, he has a different version of the void where uh, he has a little red fly with him mm-hmm. that when he shoots, the fly zips over to the side. Okay. And every item he absorbs gives him another one and they all zip over. Oh. So instead of getting stats, you just get this very powerful attack. That's really cool. It's good. You know, uh, very good. And then the final one um, that I have, which I have not, or I have Eden. Uh, Eden randomizes every time you do anything. <laughs> Define uh, basically. anything? Uh, I haven't played with her yet. I just like saw the, the description. Uh-huh. I know it's every floor, but I think it's every time you pick up an item as well. Jesus. I think. Uh, and then um, I have Bethany, but I just unlocked Bethany today. So I haven't tried Bethany. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, let me, uh, tainted Judas. I spent quite a bit of time with, uh, first of all, Mm -hmm. only, uh, can have, uh, spirit hearts can't have health. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
But the big mechanic is that uh, in your, you start in your trinket slash pill slot with an item called Dark Arts uh, that is on a recharger. Mm-hmm. Like it's a uh, like it's single room charge, but one of those ones where it refills after about five seconds. Mm-hmm. When you activate that, you become intangible, uh, and then uh, anything you touch, whether it's a bullet or an enemy, uh, draws a little line on the screen. And then when you come back okay. into reality after like three seconds, you speed up too. It's a speed up when you activate it. Uh, a it draws a line through all of it and does a, does pretty heavy damage. That's pretty great. And also buffs your uh, shots for a certain amount of time or for a certain number of shots. That's incredible. So the mechanic is that like someone shoot. Oh, and both of those effects, both the damage and the buff get uh, stronger depending on the number of things you hit while you're, okay. while you're in the, the dark arts mode. So the thing you do with it is like, if someone like if monster like fires off a big horf of tears at you, or if there's like mm-hmm. a bunch of uh, flies on the screen or something, you hit it, rush through everything as fast as you can, and then when you pop out of it, you will do a fucking ton of damage to everything oh, man. and negate all of those shots that were on the screen. That's awesome. It's it's That's really cool. It's, it is also a very big risk-reward kind of thing because it's like if you fuck up the timing, you're just going to take damage because you'll run into something. But Yeah. Uh, uh, Tainted Azazel I have not spent as much time with. Uh, you walk, so you lose your flight. Uh, okay. You have a full-length brimstone but it is the uh the baby brimstone okay but so like the one that the baby shoot like yeah, yeah. The little one okay but the mechanic and i have not played with this hardly at all yet is if you uh release before the brimstone is fully charged uh you okay. will uh like do this like small area of effect attack with a ton of knockback on it interesting uh, and it can knock enemies into walls and stuff and damage them that's really cool and if it uh if you hit an enemy with that, they get a debuff uh, that then makes them take more damage from your brimstone. That's really cool. So it's like this idea of like you rush in, knock them back, and then hurt them. That's really cool. And again, like uh, when we talk about this as man. like immensely generous, like the differences between characters and Isaac are not like extreme, right? No. Mechanically? No. no. Each of these characters uh, is more interesting than uh, base Maggie is, right? Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see what base Maggie does. Yeah. When she's, I mean, the, the making her more interesting, like, or base, you know, uh, Lazarus or whatever, oh, man, you know, uh, I, I have seen the outline of uh tainted Eve and it's real mm-hmm. wild looking. That's I'm very excited. So th- this basically has re-upped my, in- like it makes the game feel incredibly fresh, uh, re-upped my interest in it and re-upped the podcast for as long as need to be Yeah, I, I, longer than need to be. And again, these aren't just like fun little pat. These, there are unlocks associated with all these characters. This- there's not full unlocks. There's not like an unlock uh, for everything you can do. You want you. It's like you do them in sets. So if you do like Isaac, Satan, and Mom, you get one unlock. Yeah, but the game is still. Uh, my point is that the game is still incentivizing you to. Yes. These are not just for fun. Uh, these are if you are playing. If your idea of beating Isaac is completion, these are integrated into that structure. Yeah, absolutely, and you get cool new things. Yeah, none of which I've seen. You know, none. I've seen none. Uh, no, no, no. I, I haven't done it. I've, I haven't spent a lot of time with the tainted characters because it feels like I am sequence breaking. Yeah. Uh, in a weird way. Um, but I am really looking forward to digging in. It's so. Gary. It's wild. Cause there are what? 18 characters in Isaac? There's 17, 17 characters in Isaac, which is so 34 total. It's, it's an insane boost in content. And they're, they're a little it, bit of a pain yeah. in the ass to unlock. Oh, Absolutely. Uh, it's a little repetitive it, to do it. It, but. it is. Although, you know, at the same time, you're also getting whatever your unlocks are for beating the beast, which also yeah. unlocks an item for the character. But I, uh, the first time I went through with Isaac, I beat the beast, but did not use the key. Same. Cause it's, cause I missed the outline. It's extremely fucking uh, obscure. <laughs> yeah. So it was just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, uh, um, I love the, uh, there's an item that you get, uh, one of the, I think it's when you beat the beast with the lost, there's a new D six thing that what it does is instead of re-rolling an item, it just shunts it up to the next item number. Oh my God. Every Jerry, time you do it. That's amazing. Isn't that cool? Like it's just like, it's like deterministic re-rolls. Oh, they completely changed the loss by the way. Uh, they, uh, yeah, gave, the loss is very different. They gave now. the lost an entirely, we, we, uh, the loss no longer starts with the D four. Now it starts with a new, uh, shittier D six. Yep. Which is neat. And, it's a neat uh, idea. Holy mantle is hard coded. Yeah. So can't lose it. You can, uh, can't lose it. That's great. 
Uh, the keeper is better as well. They boosted the keeper a little bit. He's not as slow. His tier rate isn't as bad, and he can now have three coins. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, which is really useful because that character is not fun for Gary. Yeah, uh, I, almost all of even the stuff that's nerfs. Like we're coming. I think we're coming like up on the end here as the garbage pail kids yeah, yeah. Uh, join hands and all uh, come into the bucket. That will, they do sing a song. Do they? What's his, can I get a little snippet? Um. It, the only like it sounds a little bit like the Duff Beer for me, Duff Beer for you song from The Simpsons, sure. and that's what's popping into my head. Even though I know that's not the song. I mean, go ahead and sing that then. Duff Beer for me, Duff Beer for you. I'll have a Duff, you have one too. Yeah, but it's about garbage pail kids. Sure. So, uh, yeah, just about uh, toenails. Yes, disgusting. Do you find toenails shaving dis- their faces off? Do you find toenails disgusting? I find garbage pail. I find the. Don't you bite them? Yeah. I find that disgusting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And I find uh, the Garfield Kids this? version. Are we fucking doing this? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> just, just rubbing my brain. I wasn't sure if I remembered it right. <laughs> In some ways, yeah, that's a compliment. It out to say no. <laughs> I could have just said no. It's true. I could have, no, what a weird thing to, for anyone. Uh, yeah, of course I don't. With, that's disgusting. Yeah. Uh, a, a, per, a flexible person with strong teeth and big toenails to do. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, quit bragging about how flexible Admirable you are. Admirable in some ways. In some ways. Uh, Garage Hill Kids. What were we saying? Uh, we were uh, rounding. We were coming up oh, we're on ra- the end because we've been going for 72 minutes. Yeah, it's time for end. Uh, appreciate you for listening. Thank you uh, for enjoying us, if you enjoyed it. If this was just two weeks you couldn't listen to, please see the Burzar for a refund, I guess. Yeah, well, I mean, Gary, um, here's the thing. It's, it's one week... For there's like for a small audience. there's a small group of people for whom both weeks were unlistenable, uh, but yes. there's and a, but a also huge number a small of people group, for whom yeah. one of the two weeks was unlistenable, and then another small group for which both weeks were listenable, and and those people need help. Those people are our people. <laughs> and we said the same thing. Yes, uh, patreoncom TV. We'll be back on schedule next week for a bunch of boring ass shit from old Isaac. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I I think we were trying to like come towards like a summation or repentance though, like a final like. Oh yeah, yeah, that's great. It's generous and good, and really really fun. It's much harder, uh, but in a way that mostly feels fair. Yeah, I think uh, where uh, where it is, even where it nerfs stuff, I think it is in the service of making Isaac a more active and fun game. Yeah. Uh, I will say um, my one the one thing it has really driven home for me is that uh, starting base damage in Isaac is too fucking low. It is too low. I agree with that. Uh, they did some rebalancing to give you more damage. Like they added some basic damage items. Yeah. I get the stapler in like almost every run. It feels like stapler's very common. Stapler's very common. Uh, but yeah, it is. Uh, it can be very tricky, especially if you're doing any of these super bosses. Like you want to have a good run. I, but also just like at the start. I just want like a little bit more, oh, yeah. more damage at the start of a run. Uh, yeah. But that's just me complaining. Uh, no, I would agree. Uh, mm-hmm. If people like this show, they can uh, leave us a rating or review uh, on mm-hmm. the two places we typically look or Podcast Addict and uh, Apple Podcasts. Mm-hmm. Um, boy, I haven't looked through these, uh, so I'm not going to read a review today. We'll get back yeah, to no, regular no episodes next week. Yeah. We Repentance came out. We had to do uh, Watch Nothing But Trouble um, twice. Uh, thanks, everybody. Yeah, uh, this has been the uh, Everything to Guppy, Nothing But Trouble commentary. Mm -hmm. Uh, And uh, slash Garbage Pail Kids, the movie commentary, not to be confused with the Garbage Pail Kids, the movie commentary. That we will be releasing uh, shortly. Next week. Next week. Uh, 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 Good night. uh, Slip on a pud collar. Slip on a pud collar. I like how that sounds like somebody left one on the floor. Yep.